In this episode, we talk about extortionately high prices and using your pensions. This is Aidan Reese Heron, and you're watching Property Geek TV episode 23. So, pretty good weekend. Oh, here you go. So, cheers, Josh. <laughs> so, a. Had a pretty good weekend. Uh, I've recovered from feeling like crap, even though Josh, you felt brilliant, and Blake felt brilliant. brilliant, even though Blake was lying. Um, and and yes, yeah, so I had a really good weekend. Caught up with some friends on Saturday and was at an event. So really nice. Excited for the week ahead. The website, brand new heronhouse.co.uk website, is going live this week, which is really exciting. Um, we're in the process of trying to get verified on Facebook. Uh, which will be interesting, uh, but then it means that we can start doing some more exciting stuff on the pages. So, let's get into the show. Do you want to pick a question? Ah, uh, Jake. No, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> the hand of Josh. Can or should I use my pension? Um, can you? Yes. And should you? Yes. Okay, seriously, uh, you can, I don't know all of the ins and outs of this because we use some um, other people for this and I recommend that you seek out a financial advisor. We can't offer any specific financial advice, but there are ways for different funds, different commercial investments that we're looking at anyway, that you can definitely transfer some of your pension in, uh, but be aware that when you draw capital, like the government said, oh, you can take all of your pension, go for it. Um, that's because they're worried they can't pay you everyone's pensions and then they're charging you if you take out a certain amount so uh, basically if you want to use your pension you've got a good pension punch and pot <laughs> if you've got a good pension pot and you want to use your pension because you're worried that you're not going to be getting paid enough uh, when you retire which is probably true uh, something like 74 pounds a week for a hundred grand pension <laughs> that sucks so uh, give us a call uh, or drop us an email or drop me a Facebook message or a tweet um, and we'll be able to find someone that'll be able to help you because I don't know the technicalities but I know that you can and I'm biased enough and sure enough to say that you should because who doesn't want 6 to 8% return guaranteed when like £74 a week outrageous cool another Another one? We're going to keep it short this episode. <laughs> this week's batch of episodes is just going to be, we're just going to bash them all out. All at once. Prices are too high here, what do I do? Um, <laughs> this reminds me of a saying from one of my mentors. Uh, you're not a tree, move. What? Or, if you don't want to move, which I completely understand, because maybe you've got family where you are, you, your children go to school there, or you own the house that you live in, and you don't really want to go through the whole hassle of buying a new one, whatever, um, then consider what strategy you're using. So, not every strategy works in every location. If houses are too expensive, then there's a lot of things that you can do. So, maybe you live in London. Um, there's something that a lot of people are doing in London at the moment called assisted sales. So you help somebody sell their house. Uh, you don't ever own it or anything. You control it with a bit of paper. You help someone sell their house. So you pay for the conversion and renovation and manage the sale process. Okay, and then you split. You either keep all of the profit um, and you just pay them an agreed price, or you pay them agreed price and then over that threshold you split the profit. Um, I know people are making an absolute killing in London doing that, so maybe you should do that. Or if you've got no money, um, or very limited money, then um, you can do something like deal packaging, lead generation, uh, rent to rent, um, you can do management, because uh, that's really low entry, all you have to do is find someone and agree to manage their properties for them, um, and that's just a time, an exchange of time. But just change your strategy or move. They're the two options. Or find someone with lots of money and get them to pay for everything. That's another option. That's it. Sweet. Feel pretty nailed. Nailed it, so. 
You feel nailed. I feel, I feel <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I nailed it today, pretty succinct. Question of the day. Would you use your pension to invest in property? Comment below.